Hey guys, this is Ravi Sagar. Welcome to SlashNode.in. Today I'll tell you how to create your own custom contextual links. Well, uh, if you are using Drupal 7, then you must have noticed this uh, menu which appears along with every block. Like uh, when you click here on the top right corner, you get this menu which uh, can perform some actions like in this case, uh, since this is a navigation block, you can uh, list all the links, you can uh, edit the menu or you can configure this block. Similarly, I have also created a view for listing all the recent content uh, in a block and I have placed this block uh, on the home page of this uh, demo website and here also you will see this uh, menu and since this is a view so you get to see these two links first link is the edit view link uh, which uh, you can uh, use for if you want to make some changes in the view. Second is the configure block, which is uh, uh, the place where you want to, you know, maybe change the uh, the appearance. I mean, uh, if you want to uh, show this block to a particular group or role or if you want to uh, show this block only on some pages then you can use this configure block and uh, also when you uh, hover your mouse over the nodes then you then you get this uh, contextual links as well for editing the node and for deleting the node so this is actually a very uh, nice uh, uh, thing that, uh, that that now comes by default in Drupal 7 so, uh, what if you want to uh, add your own links to this menu, like uh, right now uh, we only have edit and delete link. What if I want a link here which I click and I am taken to maybe uh, the contact page or the about us page or some other page, uh, something different from this, uh, this particular node. So, there is a module called as CCL also known as custom contextual links which does exactly this thing uh, it lets you create your own links own custom links that you can place maybe on a block or a node and uh, also to view so uh, so let's quickly uh, download and enable this module and then i'll show you how to configure this so uh, i'm using drush so i'll simply type this command drush dlccl and I press enter so this uh, module will now be downloaded from the drupal.org so <clears throat> if you are not using drush then I strongly recommend you to use it because it really saves a lot of time like in this case I am downloading a module from the drupal website and I am not really uh, the usual way of doing it is uh, if I want to install a module and I want to first download it then I'll go to the site and I'll uh, download the compressed tar version and I bring it to my local machine and I'll unzip it or uncompress it and place it into the modules directory but using Drush you can simply you, you don't need to worry about the versions you can simply type this simple command and your, mo your module will be downloaded to the modules directory automatically okay so this ccl module is now downloaded let me go back to the modules section of this demo site where i'll enable this module so uh, that we can use it it is taking some time all right so let's go and find this newly downloaded module okay so here it is 
now uh, this module ccl comes with four uh, modules actually first one is the module itself custom contextual link second one is the ccl actions uh, where you can uh, perform some actions based on uh, uh, the i mean when you want uh, your users to click on the links and along with the i mean when they click on the link they also want to perform some actions like uh, maybe you want to publish or not to the front page or you want to unpublish it from the front page then that kind of things will be there i'll tell you more about it uh, if you want to add custom contextual links to your blogs then this is the module for it and also if you want to add it to a view so you can en enable all of them okay i have enabled all the four modules let me save it now <clears throat> oh it is taking some time sorry for that so uh, uh i'll quickly uh, show you how to add these links to a blog and view and to notes and i also show you how to perform some actions when your users click on uh, your links and by the way the actions are not really compulsory i mean you don't really want to to perform some actions all the time uh, maybe you just want a link uh, which you which you want to add to your contextual menu so uh, that link can be directed to some page or some node so you actions is not really a compulsory thing okay so this uh, module is now enabled let me go down again and i'll uh, configure this module okay so here you see there is a link called permissions and configure and uh, by the way if you are uh, new to Drupal 7, then this is really a great thing. Uh, you, from the module section, uh, you can configure the module and also the permissions. This is new, something new which I have seen. It was not there in Drupal 6. So let me click on this configure link and uh, let's quickly add these contextual links. And here it is. Now uh, it says add a new link and add a new action link. So first of all, we need to add a new link here. So let me click on this uh, link and uh, I want to add some link. Okay, so let me, uh, okay, I want my users to uh, to be directed to the home page. So I'll say the name of the link, the title is home page and I link it to the node. Node is basically the home page in Drupal if, if you are not aware and these are the tokens well tokens are uh, for uh, I mean if you want to perform some replacements then you can use tokens I'll, know, I'll not go into the details of the, of the tokens right now but uh, this is something really nice that this module supports tokens so now uh, we have uh, three options here node block and view now uh, let me first uh, create this link for a node so I'll say node here and uh, if I want I can attach it to a single node uh, maybe node 1 or node 2 or I can also attach it to all the nodes of a particular content type like right now I have article and basic page enabled for my demo site so if I say let's say uh, I want to edit, attach it to all the pages so if I click uh, if I select this option here, then uh, I can uh, use this uh, menu, uh, this link in the menu for all the pages. Or if I want to, uh, maybe uh, if it is a generic link, I want to add it to all the nodes. So I can select this option. So, so this is really nice. Uh, uh, we can configure it uh, in whichever way we want. So let us create this link for node 2 and uh, you can save this link and uh, let's see 
let me go back to my home page and uh, this is my node 2 okay so since uh, <clears throat> I have promoted this page to the home page so I can uh, from the home page itself I can see so earlier there were two links edit delete and now there's a new link here which says home page when I click on it I'll be taken to home page which is in this case home page itself so uh, so, but you get the idea how to add a link if you see the node one here here by default uh, we only have edit and delete so let me also perform some actions uh, based on uh, these links so I'll go back I'll configure <coughs> the actions so let me first see what all actions we have right now with us okay so by default you get some core actions like publish or unpublish the content make it sticky or unsticky promote or remove it from the home page so let me uh, select this one I want to if I want to publish or unpublish my content for uh, <coughs> note 2 I'll save it okay so I need to go back to home page again and I'll see if it is there or not okay I just added our new action so here it is since this uh, page is promoted to home page already so I can simply click on this uh, unpublished content and it will be removed from the home page so this is something really nice uh, let me also show you what all actions are available for block uh, okay so this action uh, module is only uh, is only for the nodes not for the blocks and views uh, okay it is okay all right so let me go back to uh, the home page and let's try to add a new custom link for maybe blocks and views okay I need to go back to my module section and okay so let me quickly uh, <clears throat> add link to a block and also to a view so again I'll uh, select here home page I want to note link it to node and this time I want to add it to a particular block uh, here, here you can either add this link to all the blocks or you can uh, select which block you want to use so in this case I want to add it to a navigation block uh, this one and I'll say <coughs> I'll save this link and also let me add a link to a view block okay so here we have option to either by default I can uh, add this link to a particular view which is uh, views recent content hyphen block or I can uh, add this link to, a, to, to all the displays of a particular view or I can link it uh, I can add it to all the views in my case I want to add it to a particular display views recent content hyphen block okay so I have added two links one for the uh, block and other one for the view so let me go back to my home page and I'll refresh my screen okay so now we have two links here one for the home page and one for the view uh, so I hope this video will help you in creating your own custom links thank you